Hey guys! It is Minty Unicorn. I wanted to address today on how to do curls to kind of make it look more natural. And so recently I was working on a project. I wanted to do Cray Baby. I had to relearn how to do curls and at first it was confusing but I basically only do two things and I feel like it was a lot easier than I anticipated. I feel like it's such an easy thing to do. I wanted to try showing how I go about and make curls. If you want to see the finished drawings of Crybaby, then I'll put a link in the description. How we're going to start this is with a base. This is my process of drawing a base. That's not really having anything to do with this tutorial. I just wanted to try doing something that was very wavy and kind of messy. Now, I'm going to start with the bangs because we're not going to be adding very many curls to them, but it's good to start with the simplest parts. I'm just going to start with some waves. This is my attempt at drawing a guy on waves. Not her waves, but we were going to start on her waves now. And we're just going to do kind of symmetrical almost, but, but you can see that the waves are kind of interacting with each other. And we're just going to do these really big waves and they're going to be sections after we're done. So this is the first section I'm going to start on. I'm going to start adding little waves to it, if that makes sense. And this kind of, not really a pattern, but I'm just kind of freestyling these waves. You can see the kind of technique I'm doing. I'm doing some kind of wild, um, some, some curls kind of sticking out while other ones are just kind of merging together. There's a lot of waves going on here and I feel like the more you add the more detailed it will be but you can even get away with not adding as many as I did here which I believe I did less on um, the crybaby drawing I did but here I was just trying to do kind of tutorial demonstrations so it's a lot more messier and I feel like you don't have to add as many as I did here but the more you add the more detailed the hair will be the more kind of busy it'll look. Just use your best judgment. So we're just taking it section by section here. We're just going to keep adding some kind of waves. We're gonna go with the hair. We're gonna go and kind of like branch it out. The waves are kind of like, I, I feel like after you're done, you're not gonna be able to see what section you are working on. I mean, you might be able to, but the person that's looking at it may not be able to. We could do more than just draw inside these waves. We can also add Braid hair, like we can add some extra curls inside. Just use these waves as guidelines. You do not need to follow them to the T. It's probably best if you do go out of the line sometimes. If you add in extra curls, if you add in like extra pieces of hair coming out, lots of big curly sections at the ends. What we want to work on mainly is how the kind of edges of the hair look. We want those to look more like, um, that's where you can add like those extra curls, those nice details if you want. Um, like I did with my um, crybaby one as well. I added extra curls on the outside at the bottom. I kind of made it look really wild. And so whatever you do, just use your best judgment, <laughs> see what works for you. But this is just an example. I hope that this was helpful for you. I hope that this helped. If you liked this video, please give it a like. Tell me what I can change. Tell me what you liked about this video. And any uh, creative criticism is welcome. I am a new channel and I am so excited to work with everybody and get better at this. So thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.